We're all living longer. One in five of us watching this program will live to be a hundred. And at least one baby born this year will likely reach 150. I love growing old. There's things I can do now that I never did before. I don't feel any different to what I did as a child. So what we think of as old is changing. I still feel sick. <laughs> I still have ladies after me. Let's face it, it's only now that I'm doing what I've ever really wanted to do. True, we might get a little stiffer along the way and have a few more aches and pains, but scientists are discovering that there are many extraordinary things that happen to us as we age. I'm 96 and loving it. On the outside and the inside. People imagine age limits what they can do physically. It doesn't. The older you get, the more you can do. It's a wonderful thing to get old. <laughs> We're going to reveal the secrets of aging so that you never see growing old in the same way again. You may have heard that 80 is the new 60. But if that's the case, exactly how old is old? I know everybody tells me I'm old, but I don't feel it. <laughs> I think that I am a perfectly normal 96 year old. I don't feel like I'm even getting older. <laughs> so is it the moment our hair turns gray? Or perhaps when our bodies are a little out of shape? Or is it when we lose our sense of style? Well, nobody can quite put their finger on it. Because the changes that are supposed to show we're growing old don't tell the whole truth. I don't know what 87 feels like for other people. And for myself, I don't notice it. There's no escaping the fact that our skin will begin to look a little more weathered. Our hair will turn white. And inevitably, we will all lose a little height. Yet while we're often told that we can be as young as we feel, science is now proving that this